Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insaney, and I'm a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here, I assume. Anyway, happy holidays, everyone. This week we're looking at three holiday favorites, or holiday songs by three different artists. First up we have The True Meaning of the Season by Jazz Emu, which came out last Christmas, but whatever. And then we have Krampus is Here, the official video by Pink Williams. And finally, because you've all been asking for it, Christmas in the Back Rooms by The Stupendium. But before we get into that, if you like this kind of stuff, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm, to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these reactions early, get to hear my music, that's right, I'm a comedy musician as well, get to hear that early, get exclusive Patreon-only reactions, and other cool things like that. Also, if you're new here, I pause these videos to talk and react to them because they're comedy songs and I don't want to talk over the comedy song and possibly miss a joke. So I'll be pausing. Kinda often, actually. Uh, if you have a problem with that, the links are in the description to see these videos unedited without me yammering all over them. But with these reactions, sometimes that means I'm going to dissect the jokes, talk about the evolution and the building of the comedy, how the video works with the song, and sometimes it's just me sitting back and laughing and enjoying the video. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. So let's jump right in to our first song, the oldest song on this list this week, The True Meaning of the Season by Jazz Emu. Now, uh, Jazz Emu, I've reacted to a few things of theirs here before. Really, really dig their stuff. Saw them live, opening for Value Select uh, a couple months back. And uh, this song popped up in the shorts selection on YouTube. So it was only a minute long, and then I realized at the end of it that there's a full video. And I also realized that in adding it to my list, I already had it on my list and I forgot about it. Whoops. So here's the 2 minute and 44 second version, the full sir song. So I know how the first verse goes, but I'm still going to react because it's, it's good. Everybody going crazy, praying for Christmas. Seems to me that humanity has forgotten what this time is about. The typical Christmas story. We've forgotten the meaning, the reason for the season, the true meaning of the season, hence the title of the song. You're setting up your, your, the way the song is going, the title already gives it away, especially important to do on YouTube, because sometimes you're coming across videos seeing the title and not knowing what the song is. Uh, and so your setup is is congruent there. Uh, also, just the fact that he went out there and filmed this on the city streets, and people reacting to the way he's doing things, uh, I'm already on board for it. All your materialistic presents, paying all of your attention to the wrong religion. The wrong religion. You gotta stop making it all about Jesus, the true <laughs> Just him standing in the village square in a druid robe thing, uh, just absolute genius. You gotta love the commitment. Committing to a bit is important. And yes, I love, I love the, the subversion of what you're expecting, the, the expectation subversion of, yes, let's make it not about Jesus. That's not what the season's for. It's for the solstice. Absolutely genius. Not quite what you expect from a Christmas song. I think that's hilarious. Yes, we were ho -ho -hoing around Stonehenge. I'm going to take it back here. Is the Druidic solstice ritual before it got nicked by the Christians? We were ho -ho -hoing around Stonehenge. Before it got nicked, not Saint nicked, by the Christians, or ho ho hoing around Stonehenge, and make is pronouncing Christians as Christians, so it almost slant rhymes with Stonehenge. Great. Just fit just great. The stream of the season didn't used to be caroling and Christmas cheer. Take me back to the time when they did things back. Like a libel sacrifice <laughs> underneath the Them 
just just so much already in those verses the just a light sacrificing of a bull you know nothing heavy just a light sacrificing and then taking the missile fruit from the mistletoe just already a funny phrase squeezing it into juice and drink it because they thought it would make them horny it's a using the missile fruit as an aphrodisiac that's why it became the tradition of kissing under the mistletoe and yes also i am obviously themed for the holiday. It is a Christmas jumper, but it is by Ninja Sex Party, a comedy band. So, uh, yeah, I'm on, on theme, folks. Uh, this, this is great. Yule traditions. Ah, tradition. <laughs> Although tradition and, and, and kids doesn't rhyme, children would almost and not re re quite tradition, children, and an and that doesn't really rhyme either. It's, a, it's again, it could like, in pronunciation, could almost be a slant rhyme. But uh, the goblin witch who climbs out of a ditch, that's great. The goblin witch who climbs out of a ditch to eat your kids. Forget the coziness and good willing. We need more state sanctioned ritual killing. Sign my petition. <laughs> we move, need more state sanctioned ritual killing. Sign my petition to bring that back. And he's on the streets in the druidic robes asking people to sign that petition. Absolutely amazing. Holy crap. Only need a hundred thou to get it to bed in part of my It's the purge, but with consequences. <laughs> that is that is so good. I don't want to laugh over the the next part. Oh my god, that's so funny. I I I love I love comedy music so much. It's just it's just the best. I love watching it with you guys and laughing at it, and I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. I hope that's why you watch cuz this is just this is just great stuff. Then on day eight, he was publicly sacrificed. <laughs> Just popping around. Friends, how could we forget the tradition of Mary Lloyd and Sanguinoid? Where they get a dead horse's head and take it round the town on a stick. That's a real thing. I've heard about that one. The horse head, the horse skull around town. Merry Christmas. It's a thing. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, a lot of pagan rituals. This whole time co-opted Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's a great rhyme. Sing at the door until the owner was forced to let everyone in the house, including the horse. These... These rhymes are coming out of nowhere, not in places where you expect, and and when they hit on the rhyme, it makes the joke even funnier to me. Just the way that that's constructed to, to have the rhyme be the joke is so, so eminently genius. God, that's so good. Oh my god. That is absolutely genius. Holy crap. Just getting more signatures. And not getting signatures.
Uh, and an amazing flute solo. Uh, holy crap. That was so brilliant. Uh, yeah, you bring it back to its its pagan and druidic roots. Bring back Yule. Oh my god, that last line was so good. Uh, <laughs> about bringing back effing Yule. <sighs> and, then, and then following this, we have a song about Krampus, so yes. Bring on the all, all the alternates. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Just the horse head with the hood over it. That's so funny. And I love that it's like in, in standard old school TV aspect ratio. Just, yeah, good stuff. Obviously next we have Krampus is Here by Pink Williams. For those of you not familiar with Pink Williams, Pink Williams is known as the man in pink. He is a... TikTok country artist who does comedy country type stuff uh, has a lot of great songs on TikTok uh, and uh, this song Krampus is here uh, somebody posted in the Dr. Demento show group on Facebook of which I am an admin and uh, it's the official group for the Dr. Demento show yes the Dr. Demento show is still on the air if you've seen weird the Al Yankovic story Dr. Demento is a real radio DJ and he still does a show every week Man's in his 80s, and the show's been going for 50 years. It's online at drdemento.com. There's the plug for that. Uh, but this song made it to one of the Christmas shows a couple weeks ago, so I added the new music video to my list, and here we are checking it out now together. This is Pink Williams. Krampus is here. Broken country films. When the leaves in the trees start to fall to the dirt, and the cold makes the tip of your nose start to hurt. Starting out like a traditional country song, I'm gonna click on the captions for this because there's no no lyrics on screen, so we'll see if the auto-generated ones actually line up. When the winter wind blows, every good kid knows to get a gift, you gotta be as good as it goes. Uh, no, it doesn't generate any lyrics, it just says music. So yeah, <laughs> we're gonna turn the captions off, cause why bother? And let's start that over a little bit. The dirt and the cold makes the tip of your nose start to hurt. When the winter wind blows, every good kid knows to get a gift, you gotta be as good as it goes. But the bad little kiddies, they're all trembling in fear, cause they know that they've been naughty and now Krampus is here. In the cold from the sea. <laughs> cause they know they've been naughty and now Krampus is here. It's a horror tale. Cause the story of Krampus is he takes all the bad children and gathers them up in the sack takes them and eats them. I think that's the story. They made a Krampus movie that was released in Christmas time a couple years ago, 2015, I think. Uh, and uh, some friends of mine, uh, the, the Courtesan and the Cabin Boy, uh, released an album of all Krampus Christmas carols uh, a couple years ago. So yes, Krampus is a very popular tradition with some people. Remember in the dead of night, he rises from hell with a powerful might. <laughs> if you're good, you get a treat or two from old Saint Nick. But if you're naughty, Krampus beats you with a bundle of sticks. That's it, yeah. If you're if you're good, you get treats from Saint Nick. If you're bad, he beats you with a bundle of sticks. Yeah, that's amazing. Uh, puts you in a, in a sack, hits you with some reeds. Christmas. I think the twist between the two is pretty dang clear. I hope you choose wisely, cause Krampus is here. <laughs> oh. Half goat, half demon, standing ten feet tall. You'll never see him sitting in a shopping mall. The horns on his head. You'll never see him sitting in a shopping mall. I would love to see the bad kids lining up to sit on Krampus's knee. That, that would make my trip to the mall much better than it usually is. And of course, the evil kid is here smashing the, the porcelain Christmas houses display, proving they're a bad kid. 
head or sharp as a knife. And if you meet him, you'll be lucky if you leave with your life. He's got something in his bag, but it ain't Christmas cheer. Hide your head under the covers, cause Krampus is here. And we wonder what's going to happen in the video. Cramp is gonna take well, someone. You've been a little naughty. He's coming for you. He'll beat your bottom with a branch until it's blackened and blue. Then he'll toss you in his sack and swing you over his back. And then he'll take you back to hell for a midnight snack. Like I said, he takes all the bad children, beats them with reeds, and takes them and eats them. It's festive. This is such a cautionary country tale. I love it so much. The the humor of the 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 song lies in its presentation. Sometimes the genre of the song is where the inherent comedy comes in. And uh, while it's not a whole lot of jokes outwardly to, to make the humor, the idea of the song and that being a Christmas carol but also being a country style, uh, not really ballad, but a country style uh, story, like a story song, uh, really kind of helps elevate the comedy in my estimation anyway. There are many different styles of comedy. That's the beauty of comedy. Comedy music, anyway. Comedy music is a genre of its own, but can also be many genres. You can have country comedy songs, you can have ska comedy songs, you can have hip-hop comedy songs. It is a genre that encompasses all other genres. And sometimes the comedy itself is just in its inherent presentation, in the style that it chooses to perform said song in. And uh, all of that is very entertaining to me. I'm, I'm a big fan of all different types of comedy music. And this, while it's not layers upon layers upon layers of jokes, of which Pink Williams does songs like that, uh, this may not be fitting that particular mold, but it is still very good in what it does. And it is telling you the story of Krampus. And comparing it to St. Nick makes... The, the dichotomy between the two also inherently funny because singing about it as if it's, you know, a jolly Christmas tradition, but also kind of like the somber story songs of like, you know, Johnny Cash would sing or something like that. The Man in Black, this is The Man in Pink. Yeah. Maybe you'll behave a little better next year So you won't wind up with a whooping when Krampus is here <laughs> Half goat, half demon, standing ten feet tall You'll never see him sitting in a shopping mall Half goat, half demon. I think I missed that the first time around. The horns on his head are sharp as a knife And if you meet him, you'll be lucky if you leave with your life He's got something in his bag, but it ain't Christmas cheer Hide your head under the covers, cause Krampus is here Hide your Sally head Jenkins. under the covers, Next claimed. cause Krampus is here. Excellent. Excellent video done as like, kind of like a... It's like nobody's performing the song, it's just the story of the song in video form. Uh, it kind of helps to elevate it as like this mythological story song. You're just seeing the story play out. But it's not like... it's telling The song is telling the story of Krampus. The video itself is telling a specific story of, you know, these two sisters. One is good and one is bad. And the bad one, because of the bad deeds of being naughty, is the one that Krampus takes and then crosses the name off the list. It's a great uh, way to present the idea of Krampus, not just in the way the song dictates, but also in giving an example of what Krampus will do to you. Excellent presentation, really, really dig the video, and of course, just a great song. All right, all of that said, finally we are now on to the last song of the week, and the one that I know a lot of people have been waiting for me to do, because I saw all the comments for it. This is Christmas in the Back Rooms by The Stupendium. Now, The Back Rooms is, I think, a game. I'm pretty sure I saw it on Game Grumps, actually, which is kind of like a, a, a limited spaces or whatever the phrase is a game of, like, you know, you're walking through office building halls and don't know what's around the corner, and it just kind of seems to extend everywhere because of all the cubicles and weirdness and hallway-looking things, and that's kind of creepy, and it's another Halloween or Christmas horror song. I wanted to say Halloween, because that's usually where the horror comes in, but it's a Christmas horror song again, but also festive because stupendium. So here we go.
Another old school aspect ratio. I wonder if that was a real commercial that he just that they that they put just put in there uh, to to kind of like build this like yes you're watching an old school thing here's an old school VHS of an old school commercial like is that a really pre-existing commercial that they put in there I don't know we'll find out I mean we might not find out but I'd love to find out at some other point I just spit sorry Wow. Now those are real commercials. I remember that. The the one for the the Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer and this Lionel Train commercial I remember. I think that was Johnny Cash, so <laughs> kinda coming back on that. <laughs> You're gonna miss Get your family the gift everybody wants this Christmas. Here we go. A subscription to the stupendous. <laughs> Holiday baking deserves real butter. Make a special purchase. One and a half ton floor jack is only twenty nine ninety. Wednesday on C. Now we go live to every family's favorite endless void. I love the setup for all of that. Using all the old commercials, and then like throwing in like their own advertisement to subscribe to the channel. Just brilliant concept integration. That is what Stupendium does beautifully from start to end of their videos it is always everything is in character everything is in universe of whatever the song is about and i absolutely love that yeah the backrooms game i think takes place supposedly in 1991 and you're seeing everything from the viewpoint of like a camcorder you're holding or something like that so yeah it's the backrooms holiday special just, just a, what a concept. <laughs> it just... It's Christmas in the back rooms May not be the one you planned <laughs> Don't you know it is the season To be glitching through the ceiling To a one's own wonderland <laughs> The season to be glitching through the ceiling. Holy crap. Already, the fact that... They're singing this to the tune of It's a Holly Jolly Christmas. Uh, I, we've, I've done a parody of that myself. I, I, I had a, a song that's actually really popular on Spotify right now that I released on my very first album in 2008 called Wow Christmas. And it's me singing about the Feast of Wintervale in World of Warcraft. Uh, and we use Holly Jolly Christmas and we use uh, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and a bunch of other holiday songs all in one thing. I wonder if they're going to take a bunch of different holiday songs and combine them to make this Christmas in the back rooms. Uh, th and this is a short song for the st Stupendium. It's only three minutes and we're a minute in and just now getting to the song. So that's impressive for Stupendium, honestly. <laughs> They always usually do, do like five minute, six minute epic songs, having them do something more short and condensed like this after a minute of commercials getting into the actual song is, it's impressive when they go smaller for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it is. Yes, Christmas in the back rooms, that special time of year. Yeah, that's we genius. Trim the trees with wreaths and existential primal fears. <laughs> Every level's looking jolly, hope you brought a lot of holly. There's an infinite sprawl of different halls to deck, good golly. An infinite sprawl? Wow, what was that line? Holly, hope you brought a lot of holly. There's an infinite sprawl of different... There's an infinite sprawl of different halls to deck, good golly. Oh, that's an already great line. And, like, that's the... Another weirdly genius thing about this song already is it's yes it is kind of a parody of Holly Jolly Christmas, but also Stupendium's gonna throw a little bit of Stupendium lyricism in there to like here's some some fast quick verbiage of double rhymes real quick. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. So good. Ronald's a deck, good golly, yes, escaping would be folly, take a tip from me. The Santa Claus got hit an exit door beneath the tree, so hum to the drum of the halogen lights. But don't wonder if you're gonna see Santa tonight, cause the chimney's labyrinthine, and as if the trees are glistening, and there's far too many hearts that give delivering right. 
man, there's some really solid rhymes in here. The chimney's labyrinthine. Not the yeah, labyrinthine meaning of the essence of a labyrinth, basically. Uh, because the, a labyrinth would be like a big maze and whatnot. And and the chimney's labyrinth and, and there's infinite trees a glistening. Just to have that rhyme. Labyrinthine and a glistening. Only the stupendium would ever combine those two words. Just just the the person's thesaurus must be so dog eared. Just amazing. Incredible stuff. Let's give the trees a glistening and the spout too many odds and give the little room right. Yes, Christmas in the back rooms, a silent nightmare awaits. <laughs> silent nightmare. Because, like, Silent Night, the song, and the game is kind of a nightmare. And it is kind of silent when you're going through the back room. There's, like, some sort of ambient noise, but there's no, like, gameplay music or anything like that. Sometimes it's, like, there could be a little music or whatever. But there's not really, I don't think there's really any music in the game. So, yeah, it's kind of silent other than the sound of terror. Depending on the level. There is the clown level that's got kind of annoying repetitive music in it. Anyway. Take the <laughs> Foam tiles, because it's an office building. I love spelling out roofs. Hooves and roofs. Yes, the plural of roof is not roofs. Roofs. It is, it should actually think it is roofs, but to make it funny and also rhyme, roofs is what they did. I've explained a joke. Happy holidays. It's Christmas in the back rooms. Follow the lights. There's no end in sight. Nope. But try in vain to find your way inside the maze of winding chains of twinkling fairy lights. Run! Through cracks in reality, whoops, there goes sanity. Won't be rolled hammer beef, have the beast sucking their dampers. No calories, also no January time. <laughs> There's no calories, also no January. <laughs> no January. Time is imaginary. Ah, oh, so good. Uh, yeah, that's the thing about, about the game is, like, is there a Christmas setting in the game? Because those look like game graphics of the, the hallways in the first level of, like, the big office building. But, like, there was a tree and a, and a hearth setting, and then there was all the other trees in the expanse because of the, the trees being labyrinthine. Uh, the labyrinth of trees. Uh, yeah, it just... All of that combining into this is such a weird combination of things that I don't think existed outside of this song, but I'm glad exist in this song. Time is imaginary trapped in this labyrinth Sing to the carols all <laughs> over the room And hope nothing hunts and you were drawn to the tune The doors will lead to nothing so the carolers aren't coming And the oh. constant sound of rhyming likely is an ear to prove <laughs> Yeah, the thing that's gonna run up on you? Not carolers, probably. <laughs> the, the footsteps you hear in the distance? You don't want approaching you. Yeah. Christmas in the back rooms Sugar plum dreams of escape <laughs> Your gift is nothing flashy Just a camera battery And the just takes Absolutely genius. That is so good. Yes, like I said, you're watching the game through a old-school camcorder. Uh, that's so incredible. And that's it. Cheese, oh my gosh, they put like a filter on them to kind of like, I guess, subvert copyright. Uh, <laughs> it's like kind of like a little dolly AI effect on everything to kind of look like a little, little warped. Uh, but I recognize some of these commercials, so some of them are not, not exclusive to the UK. Uh, some of these are American commercials that I recognize. <laughs> Christmas here on SBC, and you've been watching the Backrooms Holiday Special. But don't go anywhere. Wow. So, uh... SBC, and you've been watching the Backrooms Holiday Special. Guest animator is Coda, so I guess uh, that was not game graphics, that was animation. Music director was Bone Cage. Bravo, Bone Cage. We just reacted to a Bone, Ca oh, Bone Cage song last week. Holiday and, special. uh, and Freest played the piano on that. 
So that's uh, an exciting collaboration that just happened there. That's very, very cool. That was excellent. Holy crap. But don't go anywhere. Coming up, we've got more merry musical moments with the Stupendium Playlist Show. <laughs> at nine, don't touch that dial, but do press that button. It's the hilarious adventures of like and subscribe. <laughs> the, the hilarious adventures of like and... <laughs> the hilarious adventures of like and subscribe. Don't go anywhere, but don't touch that dial, but do touch the button to like and subscribe. Oh, just the, again, like I said at the beginning, the way they integrate, like, the world that they're building with the song and the world the song exists in with all the normal YouTube things that they say, absolutely, like, top to bottom from everything is, is always so well integrated. And yeah, this was a smaller production for Stupendium, technically, because... I don't think they were even on a stage. I think they were probably green screened into into the set. Uh, I saw some uh, a little bit of, of what could probably be uh, probably be green screen in that, but I, I don't know for certain. I haven't seen if they've said on the Patreon yet on Stupendium's Patreon. But uh, yeah, that's that's good stuff. And at ten, contestants compete for notifications on new videos in another thrilling episode of Ring That Bell. <laughs> and it's not too late to grab those festive savings with infomercial programming from the Stupendium Store and Patreon at 11. Just putting them up like they're advertisements for upcoming shows, having those be... It's so genius. It's so good. That's your Christmas tonight here on SP... On SPC. And then it ends with a horrifying shot of Ronald McDonald. And literally that is the last second. And just zooming in on SPC, which I was looking up something the other day. Like SPC is like a something capture, something something capture or whatever. It has to do with cryptids and stuff. So like, there's an SPC game, a game called SPC that has to do with more horror elements and stuff like that. And it's you know some people say it's connected to the back rooms or whatever. So having it be the channel. And there was a game they played on Grumps called SPC TV uh, that. Uh, wasn't a horror game up to the point where they played it. It could eventually turn into one later, but SPC stood for something else in that game. But I was like, huh, that acronym uh, also means other things. So, whatever. But anyway, there's that. Christmas in the back rooms. This is fantastic. I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. I hope you have a festive and safe and wonderful holiday if you celebrate. And if you don't, uh, just have a good day. Anyway, that's all for this week. We'll see you next time. Thanks, everybody. Take care. Bye. Christmas Eve.